Suppose we want the first 10 powers of 2. Haskell allows us to write this approximately the way a mathematician would. The list of all numbers 2 to the n, where n ranges from 1 to 10. This is called a list comprehension. If we're running an American convenience store or movie theater, we're likely to use some of these numbers as beverage sizes. We can limit the list to two-digit numbers with additional constraints. Be sure you're familiar with the parts of a list comprehension. The expression for elements of the resulting list comes first, followed by the vertical pipe symbol. It's near the upper right of your keyboard on the same key as the backslash. The next part tells where the variable values come from. Finally, there can be predicates or filters placing additional constraints on which values to use. Strings are lists, so we can use list comprehensions on them, too. For example, we can remove all of the vowels from a word. This says the list of all characters x, where x comes from the list outrageous, and x is not an element of the list aeiou. It is arguably clearer if we use the backtick trick to make lm infix. By nesting list comprehensions, we can do this to a list of words, that is, a list of lists. The inner list comprehension removes all of the vowels from a word. The outer list comprehension does that for each word in the list. By this point, you may be thinking that Haskell is difficult. A better interpretation is that Haskell is extremely concise. Try doing the same job in C or Java. You'll find that it takes a lot more code. Here's one more example, a multiplication table. The inner list comprehension multiplies x by each possible value of y. The outer list comprehension does this for each value of x. Breaking down complicated expressions into nested parts like this is a useful skill for any programming language. It's especially important in a concise language like Haskell.